when athletes move beyond uh, their competitive years and we fast forward to an even farther extent and, and, and they look down the barrel of irrelevance, which is a word that I don't like to use, but it's definitely a word that, impl- uh, th- that applies when we're discussing people who are once superstars. There has to be uh, a sense of contrast here. There has to be a sense of you were once this big rising star and now you have been reduced to this. Now, when athletes retire, a lot of times they get goofy endorsements. I think Shaq, for example, has some, I think he has an endorsement with odor eaters or something like that, like some product that you put in, in, your, in your shoes, in your soles, and you, um, and they reduce the smell or some, or the itch or whatever the fuck it is. It's like STD powder. I'm not uh, quite sure. Uh, Frank Thomas, who, uh, you know, the big hurt, he used to play for the uh, Chicago White Sox, and he has a uh, endorsement deal with Nugenex, uh, which is a uh, testosterone supplement, but it's something that's mostly taken by men in their 40s and in their 50s, so it's not the goofiest of endorsements, but it's not exactly Nike. So now you have Jerry Rice, and he's appearing in this Popeyes commercial that you guys can see right here. And let me give you a bit of a background about Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is easily one of the top 20, maybe even top 10 football players of all time, depending on who you speak to. It's it's certainly a, a generational conversation. He is easily the greatest wide receiver that has ever lived with the San Francisco 49ers. And now he's reduced to this. This Popeye's commercial where he has this rotating chicken wing that's attached to the helmet. He's got this ridiculous amount of barbecue sauce on his face and a humongous fucking biscuit. I, 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 I don't get the idea of the biscuit. I mean, look, I don't, I don't get the idea of the rotating chicken wing in the helmet, but the biscuit is gone. It's gone so beyond... Uh, even by the standards or or the parameters that the commercial has created. Uh, You know, just just how morbid it all is with him having the barbecue sauce, you know, this uncontrollable, this compulsion that Jerry Rice has to eat the chicken. It's the biscuits even worse than all of that stuff is what I'm really trying to say here. You have this lady who does these Popeye commercials And, uh, you know, from what I understand, she just does the whole Louisiana bass thing and she stands there and she, you know, and she just pretty much says, oh, nigga, this is the chicken that we got. I've never seen her eat it. And I think that makes a difference. Waves B, I believe, is his name on on uh, on Snapchat. Uh, you know, a, a listener who asked me the question, he said, well, you know, d- do you think black people can make fried chicken commercials, period? Of course they can. Um, but th- there's a huge difference, I think, between there's a huge difference between coming across as the the creator or the preparer, the chef the uh the cook of the chicken uh in this sort of um this sort of idea uh like when you see old italian women on on sauces on bottles of sauces and it's like oh this is uh granny vinicelli's uh great sauce then it would be no different than seeing this black lady and she's in the commercials and she's not really acting coonish she's just saying this is the chicken that we got motherfucker there's a very big, there's a very big difference between doing that and doing what Jerry Rice uh, did. Um, being the consumer of it, I think, makes a huge difference because it is obviously it perpetuates the stereotype uh, that, as Dave Chappelle said, uh, you know, blacks and chickens are quite fond of one another. Now I'm I'm not going to go into 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 the root of, of stereotypes and and uh, the connections to chicken and and black people and uh, chicken George and all that stuff. 
I wouldn't even consider myself to be well versed on the topic. It's just the modern day surface level conversation or the connection of black people and chicken that I can really speak on. And yes, I think that black people can do chicken commercials because up until now, I don't think anybody really had a problem with that, uh, with that old lady doing the commercials. And by the way, her reactions were hilarious. Uh, when she saw Jerry with the uh, rotating chicken wing, and then when she saw him with the dipping sauce helmet, uh, her reactions, <laughs> you know, she was like, <gasps> like she was shocked. And maybe it was uh, the commercial's very own commentary on itself. And by the way, I just want to say that I am aware of the idea of making everything so over the top that you couldn't possibly take it seriously. You couldn't possibly take the idea of Jerry Rice with the chicken wing helmet and with the grease all over his face and the humongous biscuit. You can't take that seriously and be offended by it. You know, I'm expressing the idea or at least the concept of taking it over the top. I'm not saying that uh, uh, you don't have to be offended by it. You could choose to be offended by whatever the fuck you choose to be offended by. Uh, I'm aware of that idea, but I guess maybe you could do it tastefully. Uh, in my mind right now, I can't really figure out a way that it could be done in a tasteful manner if it is to be done over the top. Um, you have, uh, it's, it's, it's a very, it's a very small window of, of wiggle room that you have when you're dealing with fried chicken and black people. David Banner uh, had a very good opinion uh, on this subject. David Banner, who, who, you know, on social issues, he always has a very grounded opinion. Uh, he, he shared his thoughts on the whole Jerry Rice matter, and he says that he's not really concerned with Jerry Rice because it doesn't surprise him that somebody like Jerry Rice wouldn't have the the integrity, wouldn't have the 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 amount of of introspection the self-realization that what he is doing could be considered to be coonish because he's been praised for years Uh, the the idea of race has totally been just erased out of jerry rice's uh out of his data you know, he's probably been praised when he was in high school, maybe even before that, definitely praised uh, in college and in the pros. Forget about it. As I said, he is easily the best receiver of all time. So the concept of race really is something that Jerry Rice doesn't understand very well. So there was no surprise to David Banner why De- Jerry Rice would do that and why it would seem to make sense for him to just get a check. These goofy endorsements that athletes get into, for the most part, they always seem to be connected to athletics. I mean, as I said, Shaq has something to, that deals with footwear. Frank Thomas has something uh, that deals with, uh, uh, with the male hormone, male testosterone. And th- this really has no connection. So... Uh, You really have to ask yourself a couple questions. What sort of uh, a financial bind is Jerry Rice in? Uh, I can't imagine why he wouldn't be able to be an, uh, why he wouldn't be able to be an analyst. Um, Great players are analysts as well. I know for the most part, mid-level sort of average players tend to be the best analysts. I mean, uh, look at Matt Hasselback on ESPN. Uh, I believe that's in the right back. I know there's, there's brothers, but I, I believe it is Matt Hasselback. Um, there are a lot of athletes who make great commentators, uh, even uh, great ones like uh, Troy Aikman for Fox Sports. You know, he does the commentary with, uh, with Joe Buck, and Troy Aikman, of course, was a great player. And, you know, he, he, he's able to find his, uh, his, his space, his area. I can't imagine why Jerry Rice wouldn't be able to do the same and why he would uh, resort to, to, to making commercials like this. Black people can, in my opinion, do fried chicken ads because, you know, I'm not attached to this, 
this association that people give to blacks and to chicken and to grape soda and all these, you know, these silly things. If it's done tastefully, then maybe it could work. I mean, you, you can't possibly sit there and say that it is no possible way for a team of writers to come together and to very in, in a very witty manner sort of dance their way around the the meat and potatoes of the the very first thought that you're going to have when you see Ray Lewis in a Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial so Jerry Rice uh I mean other than just being a very funny commercial because I think the commercial is hilarious uh, I think that was the intent to make it hilarious. And maybe in the minds of those writers, that's what they felt was their thing. They were going to go for the big laugh. They were going to go with something that is so absurd. You know, comedy is drawn from absurdity. From something so ridiculous that it's just going to make you laugh. But there are so many... There are so many pre preconceived notions uh when it comes to this topic that it's very difficult to go for that laugh it's it, it's 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 a tall order let's put it like that to make that commercial be acceptable but what do you guys think about it i mean if you haven't seen the commercial i'll lay it in the description below you can see some of the images here let me know what you think about the video um, let me know what you think about the association of, uh, of fried chicken and, uh, the stereotype between, uh, fried chicken and blacks. I think fried chicken is delicious as many people, <laughs> many people would share that very same sentiment. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, uh, in the comment section below and I will see you fuckers next time.